As always, thank you for coming back to see how I achieve this look. And as always and usual, please subscribe and stay tuned. I'm going to go in with my Smashbox 24 hour um, eyeshadow primer. You don't need a lot of this. You literally only need a little bit. A little goes a long way with this primer. Um, I found that when you use this primer, um, your colors do last a lot longer and they turn out a lot brighter. So I like to put a little bit on my fingers and just warm the product up. It's always easier to warm product up on your fingers so that way um, it goes across the skin nicely and evenly. So I'm going to start here and just gradually go up. And I'm just going to blend it into my skin. All you need is a brush, a multi, you can either use an angled brush like something like this that has an angle on it or you can just use a spoolie brush or you can get something that's dual ended like mine's. Um, something that's dual ended like this is very, 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 very beneficial so that way you don't have too many brushes. Um, with me being a makeup artist, I try to make them as minimal as possible so I don't have a lot of different things that I'm using. Um, a lot of different brushes, sorry. Um, so I try and, and get brushes that are multi-purpose. So dual brushes are key for me. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to brush your eyebrows up. Brush them up and I'm going to be going in with the LA Girl Brow Pomade and this is in the shade Dark Brown. I am going to take a lip because I do use this on clients. I'm going to put some of that on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to fill my brows in. I have this scar here that I can't stand. So now I'm going to get my Anastasia Beverly Hills um contour kit and this is in deep and i am going to pull um this shade right here this is cinnamon and i want to take my a clean lipstick applicator and i'm just going to try to pull up now this is cream um, and it is cold, so like I said, you may have to work up some, um, some of it to come up. Alright guys, so I am going to take my BH Cosmetics Trending in Tokyo palette and I am going to go in with these beautiful colors. Um, I am going to take my Wet n Wild Small Smudge um, uh, Brush, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to make, take this Small Smudge Packer Brush and I'm going to go in with this yellow and I'm just going to apply that into my inner eyelid. Um, I had to do a little vo voiceover for some reason. I forgot to <laughs> talk during the video. So from here on out, I will be doing a voiceover. Alrighty, so now we have packed that yellow in. Now I am going in with this orange color. 
now i do want to give a disclaimer it did take a whole lot to pack these covers into um, my eyelid for some reason they are not um sticking and it just took a lot to pack these colors on <laughs> but um the next color i'm packing on is this orange is really really pretty it looks really really bright it went on a lot better than that yellow the yellow was just like not doing it for me it took me a very very long time to get it as bright as i could but um i'm just going to try and pack on this orange Alright, so next we are going in with this beautiful red and I am going back and forth with the orange and the red so that way we don't have any harsh lines. That red showed up so beautiful, so pigmented. Oh my gosh, it seems like the darker the colors, the more pigmented they showed up and I love that. Alrighty, so now we are going to go in with this gorgeous green. I love this green in this palette. I was when I seen it, I was like, I have to add this to this eye because this green is just so gorgeous. So I added it next to the red, and for some reason, it just started to mud out. Um, I tried to like just keep adding it on, and just kept getting like darker and darker and darker and darker, and it just was eventually almost turning brown so i was just like let me just leave it alone <laughs> the more i played with it and played around with the red it was just a nightmare but um it's really really pretty on the skin and this was just like one of my favorite colors in the palette altogether Alrighty, so next we are going to go in with this blue and we are just going to smoke out the corner eye um, I like this blue color. It's a little bit more on the lighter side, but that is perfectly fine with me. You can tell the difference between the blue and the green, but it looks really, really pretty. Alrighty, you guys. So now I'm going to take some micellar water and a Q-tip and just create a cut crease. Now, normally I wouldn't do this. Normally I would just do concealer and just do a cut crease that way. But I wanted to try something new and challenge myself a little bit um, and to completely um, start over from scratch and give myself a completely bare eyelid. Um, and I did not like this method. This took a lot of work <laughs> and it just made it a lot harder to do. And I'm just like, I was like completely over it. I think I was just more so just wore out completely from just the palette itself, just being completely complicated. Um, just dealing with this palette but um, yeah so I just took a little bit of micellar water and just created a cut crease with my um, q-tips alrighty now after cutting that crease I did go in with my concealer and go in and clean up that crease a little bit and add that concealer out and just blend it out a little bit don't mind me I was jamming <laughs> So after I went ahead and applied the concealer, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to add on top. So I seen that I had the Milani um, Gilded Jewels palette and they had like this champagne color, like shade of um, eyeshadow in there. So I said, hey, I'm going to use that to set the concealer. So I just applied that all over the, the, like, the part that I cut creased. I just applied that all over in that area on both lids. Then in the Milani Gilded Jewel um, palette, there was like this dark blue um, color in there. And I was like, hey, this could be a good contour, like a good shadow shade. Um, to set off the rest of these um, light colors. So I was like, hmm, let me put this in the crease of my eye and set this look off with. <laughs> so I thought this was a good color to do um, in my crease um, for the outside of my eyelid um, just to do like a shadow. So I just did that um, on the outer lid and I just shaded that in a little bit. Um, I try not to go up into the blue or the green and just try to keep it um, on the cut crease that I created. And it turned out to be really, really good. It turned out really, really pretty. So next I am going to take this 
glitter gold color out of the milani gilded jewel palette i am so sorry you guys that i do not know any of these names in this palette i am such a horrible horrible influencer <laughs> and i do apologize for that but um i'm telling you this is like one of the palettes that is so worth it go get it um but the color itself it shows up really pigmented i did not want to do glitter in this look so this is, was an alternative for me and it sh turned out really well for me as you can see Alrighty, so next we are going to go in with the hard candy blur primer and i'm just going to apply this all over my face i do like this um item or product a little bit better than the Too faced hangover fx primer i used to use that a lot but ever since i found this it's a little bit more on the cheaper um scales like four or five dollars for this item and i can say my makeup still looks good with it Alrighty, so next I am going to just go in and color correct. I do have some hyperpigmentation areas and some dark circles. So I want to take my LA Pro Concealer, LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color peach. And I am just going to fix those hyperpigmentated areas and apply this to those areas and take a beauty blender and blend those out. Alrighty, you guys so now i am going to put on my Ardell, um lashes i did not want to take away from the eye look so i went ahead and applied some natural short lashes natural short lashes are good for newbies that are used are just now getting into wearing lashes they're nice and short and very lightweight so they're not heavy and won't irritate the eye it would be a good um, way to introduce people that are have not used to wearing lashes but i didn't want to take away from this eye look so this is the reason why i chose these lashes for this look for the day Alrighty, so next i'm going to take my beauty blender foundation in the shade 4.0 in i love absolutely love this foundation now i did not know that beauty blender came out with their own foundation you guys and when i tell y'all this foundation honey goes on like butter <laughs> like butter it looks like my skin like i cannot believe it like i used to be a tart girl like y'all know me that really knows me that watches my channel and that follows me on instagram and facebook y'all know that i am a tart girl but i think i just found my new foundation because this beauty blender foundation is just like giving me everything i need yes it's a little dark but honey it lightens up when you add a little concealer to the t-zone it gives me everything be a piece of a life honey when i tell you this is everything to me this is everything to me my clients when i do their makeup and i use my beauty blender foundation oh my gosh this is a a game changer for me i i absolutely love this foundation i really do and a little bit goes a long way with this and i love how the beauty blender foundation it like it has like you can just squeeze it and it sits on in the like the little dip inside of the foundation bottle and it makes it easy to clean and you don't have to worry about it you put it in the back of your hand or make it a mess and it also is accommodatable for your beauty blender like each beauty blender foundation comes with its own beauty blender like okay beauty blender come come through for me come through i absolutely love this Alrighty, so next I am going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, contour palette. And I'm going to take that color cinnamon that I had on the back of my hand this whole time. And I'm just going to put that in my T-zone um, to brighten back up my face. Now, everywhere that I put that cream concealer, I am going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and I am just going to set that very lightly. I'm not going to be doing no heavy baking at this point because I just want it to look completely natural, so I'm just going to set that very lightly. 
going to go in with the Anastasia Brow Gel in medium brow and I am just going to set my brows so that way your girl's brows don't move. Alrighty, so next I'm going to take this yellow and I am going to apply it to the inner corners of my eye and then I am going to go in with that yellow, that blue, I'm sorry, forgive me, and I am going to apply that to the outer corners of my eyes um, to darken that up and I'm also going to line my waterline with a black eyeliner. Alrighty, you guys, so this item that I did get it from Sephora, um, I got it because I was trying to find a good contour shade for me because I am so dark skin. Um, and this works out perfect for me to be able to contour with. I was tired of not having something dark enough so that way I can create that shadow. And this works out perfectly fine. Now this is Clean Beauty Contour. Um, when I say clean, I mean no harsh chemicals at all, honey. I do not remember the name, but you can get this at Sephora. And I do believe this is like $35, I do believe. $35, if it's not $35. $35 and I do believe it's $28 don't quote me on that but <laughs> you can get it from Sephora next I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty highlighting palette and I am just going to take this soft gold um I do please forgive me I do not know the name of this um and I'm going to just apply it on the highest point of my cheekbones look at that glow honey i just love her like her highlight palettes are just bomb if you want a good glow oh my god just get her palettes all right guys so i did want to keep it simple so i did just add this a regular lip gloss to this look because i did not want to take away from the eyes Alrighty, you guys, and this is the final look with my frontal. No, I did not install this frontal. It is freshly shampooed. I did not um, flat iron this frontal, this, so this is the first time um, me combing it out since I shampooed it. But this is the final look. What do you think, you guys?